Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Shane Thomas and today we're going to be going over the Fieldable Panels Panes module. Uh, what this module allows you to do is it basically allows you to build a fieldable entity that can be used inside your panels pages. And that may sound a little confusing if you're not too familiar with the panels terminology, but we'll go ahead and show you how that works. Before we get started, you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also check out codekarate.com and check out the Five Secrets ebook that we recently released. So let's go ahead and get started with the Fieldable Panels Panes module. You're going to want to make sure you get that downloaded. You are going to need the C-Tools module and really the Panels module to really make it work the way we're going to show here. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure we get it turned on. So we're going to enable this module. And first we'll go over and kind of show you the problem that it can help solve. There's a lot of different reasons you might use this. It, almost always there's probably other ways to accomplish the same thing, but this can be can make things a lot more efficient so that might be one of the main reasons you really want to use this module so I do have a panel page here so if you're familiar with panels this will be familiar so I have a panel page and currently there's nothing in it um, looks like this is old just testing panes that I was using. We'll go ahead and get rid of these. But often you may use this add content and you may add new custom content. So you may put some things in here and that works great. And you can even, there's even ways to reuse this custom content but you aren't allowed to add fields to it and you aren't allowed to, or you well you can but it's very difficult to add images so what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a fieldable panels pane where we can drop one in here and one in here and show different types of content so I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of this so it kind of helps solve the problem of instead of using that just new custom content you can use a fieldable panels pane which has the benefits that each field is translatable and it's also easier to reuse so we're going to just save this and we're going to go to the fieldable panels pane administration page. You can see there are current there are currently no entities of this type, so we're going to add one. But before we do, actually we're going to go back. You'll notice that here's the, there's a list page, there's a manage fields and a manage display page. We're going to first start by adding some fields. I'll go ahead and create an image field and we'll call it logo image so we'll upload some logos here we'll pretty much just keep the basics the basic defaults and I'm also going to add a headline field which will just make a text field and we'll keep the defaults here as well and we can rearrange these. We can also go to this manage display section which is pretty familiar if you've dealt with content types. So we'll start with the title then we will put the headline and then the image. We'll go ahead and hide the labels here and we'll save that. Now we're going to come back to the actual panels fieldable panels pane admin page and we're going to click the add fieldable panel page link. You can make the link a or the title of the fieldable panels pane a link. So we're going to do that and I'll go ahead and do codecrowdy.com as the link. You can add a title, the headline Now we upload our image, and these are, of course, are the two fields that we added. They wouldn't be here if we hadn't added those fields. 
This checkbox is important. This make this entity reusable allows it to easily be reused in other panels pages. You can give it a category. Um, we'll go ahead and just give it one so you can see what it where it shows up. The administrative title is what it's going to show up under inside the an actual panels when you're adding content. You can give it a description as well. We'll leave that blank. And now we'll come back to our panels page to take a look. So now when we go to add content, there's a logo section here. And inside there you can see there's a code karate pane, and that's the name we gave it. It's only one view mode, so we'll leave that the same. And we will click update and save. Now let's go ahead and go to this page. You'll see here it shows up, Code Karate website, our headline, and the logo image that was uploaded. And you notice if I hover over this or click on it, it brings me to whatever link I specified. So in this case, it brings me to CodeKarate.com. I can hover over this and edit it directly from here and this will open up this specific pane and you can make changes. Revisions are tracked. You can also set up specific access control rules. This is very similar to how access control or visibility, is, visibility rules work within panels. So that if you're familiar with that, you'll be familiar with this. You can allow specific roles. You could um, base, it, base it on other fields. There's a whole bunch of things you can do there. We're going to just skip that for now and assume that we want everyone to see it. We're going to go ahead and add one more just to show another way to add a fieldable panels pane. If we come back into our panels page, and let's assume we wanted to add one here as well. We could of course go back to the fieldable panels panes admin page and add one. But you can also add it directly from in here. So if you click on fielded panes, you can click panels page. So let's go ahead and make one for to link out to Google. And if we want to make it reusable, we can click check here and then it will show up in the list alongside that code karate one. So we're going to go ahead and finish this. And now you can see it shows up. We'll update and save. You'll notice inside the logos, there's the Code Karate one and the Google one now. So they can be reused on other panel pages if you need to. If we save that and come back, you'll see we now have both of those links showing up. We also probably want to make these images the same size which is easy to do you go ahead and go to back to your fieldable panels pane and go to manage display you can change this to use a specific image style so we'll set it to use the medium image style but you gotta click save which I forgot to do there update save Now, if we refresh this page, you'll notice they're the same size. So, fieldable panels panes can be used for a whole bunch of different things. It's, they're very flexible, so they can be used whether you want to display you know, different sections or different regions uh, inside a panels page, and you want those to be fieldable, you want those fields such as this to be translatable, all that stuff's possible. In a future video, we'll probably go over how you can style using the panelizer module I believe how to actually style some contents inside this fieldable panels pane. But that's it for this time. Thanks for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal and make sure to follow me on Twitter and check out the ebook. Until next time, see ya.